Okay, for me, because I drain at night and I don't dwell overnight, then I actually do my port clean at that point because my my tummy isn't full of the dextrose. So to me, it just kind of makes sense. And then it really, it really doesn't matter when you change your port dressing, but for me, not having a full belly kind of makes it more comfortable. Your skin is more stretchy. And then I feel like overnight, I have time to kind of adapt to it. It's very important to be very careful when you pull those tapes off, even though you're doing it every day. So what happens is under your skin, you really get um, like maybe a toughness to your skin, but it's not calloused, but it's still tender. So by all means, don't just rip away to pull off those bandages because I use two anchors and if you're on dialysis you'd understand what that means and I'll do another video um, to show a little bit more visual on what I'm talking about but for those on dialysis you know that you have to anchor your tube um, and I anchor it twice and then because um, I, I just don't want that thing to be moving and then um, at, at DaVita, at least at my center, we're given island dressing. And island dressing is a bandage that has the stickiness all the way around a solid pad. So once I pull off all the tape, then I, I will um, clean, dry, and then put the ointment on and put on what I call the tutu, <laughs> but it's a, it's like gauze, but it has a slit in it. So it goes around your tube and then you put on the island dressing on top. And I don't know why anybody would not give uh, PD patients, especially PD patients, um, the island dressing. Like that should just come from Baxter, but it doesn't for some reason. So Basically, my dialysis center, DaVita, in Tucson gives them out. The, our, my doctor was like, no, we will give these out. And I found them on Amazon, so I actually ordered them once because I was like, I am not going to go without this dressing. Like, it is, it makes you feel so much safer, and it really is because it goes entirely around the whole thing and lays on top of your tube nicely where it feels like it's safe. And that's what you want because you don't want infection at all. I mean, after all of this, and then to have to pull your port out because you got infected. Ugh, I can't even imagine. Anyways, I am a mom. That means that naturally I have stretch marks that happen because I carry babies. And because it is on my left side and where it's located, it can have your bandages lay on top of stretch marks. So you have to be very careful because stretch mark skin, even though it was like so many years ago, still is very tender skin. It's just, it's very thin skin. So tonight I actually pulled a little bit too much and actually ripped my skin. Um, and it burns just a touch, but then I have to maneuver my bandage to not fall again on top of that because can you imagine tomorrow ripping that again? So I have to let it heal for a day or two, so I have to be very conscious of where I'm putting that island dressing on. So I can't believe it. I was just like, and, and you can't hurry because you also don't want to like just rip the bandage off because it's, it's, it's somehow kind of attached to your tube. Um, and I'm always very careful and I kind of ease it up. Actually, my trick is while I'm draining, I will undo one anchor and then um, I will start to take off the island dressing, like pull it up so it's not as sticky and then put it back down and then I'll finish off my drain and then I stand up and I do my port clean. So for me, that works really well because now my skin has had a moment to be like, ah. Oh, you know, without the stickiness of the island dressing on it still. But for some reason, just down in the right bottom corner, I just pulled a little bit too hard. So 
I do use um, the pork clean solution on it to disinfect it and clean it because you don't want, you know, like an open wound next to your port. So you have to take care of it. And then I just let it heal overnight because it's happened before. <laughs> yeah. Um, but this is what island dressing looks like. I think you can tell. Um, so it has that solid in the middle and then it has like it's all the way around stickiness. So, yeah, if you have to order these, these are on Amazon and they're not really that expensive. I want to say like 10 bucks. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I will definitely um, down the road kind of do more of an example of a visual of what I do and how I do and how crazy it gets. Anyways, you have a good night. I'm going to go fix us a snack and then I'm going to bed. And tomorrow is Wednesday, which means that I get to chill all day. Hey, hey, my people. <laughs> so I wanted to show you real quick a little bit of a setup that I do right before I do my exchange. Um, I actually just turned my TV, paused it, so that's why the remote is there. It's usually not there. But this is my cart that I use. Um, I love it. It's on Amazon. I think it was like $60, but I think it is absolutely wonderful and totally a necessity. Um, you want something metal to use because you can't use wood because wood can absorb liquid and bacteria where metal like this gets wiped down every day six times a day so and then um, here's my supplies that are left um, for me I have a whole bunch of drain bags which is funny because I don't know I probably won't have to order them next month because I have way enough. But this is what I have left until Friday. And then Nate's coming Friday to bring me the rest of my or my um, supplies for the next month. So this box is almost empty. It has one more bag in it. And then um, ba basically each box has six bags and I use four a day plus two drain bags. So that's kind of how it breaks down for me. And then the card is cool because... Like, I have a box of caps back there that I can refill in case I go low. There's my accept for the um, port cleaning, your Alcavis for your catheter cleaning. Always have um, hand sanitizer. I wish that their hand sanitizer came with a pump because, you know, you have to hold this and then, you know, that, which is to me a pump is better because you're just barely touching something. But again, I'm the only one literally in my room once in a while, Ben will come in. I don't have a family that comes in here, so I think it's fine, you know. You can't get too carried away because you can't kill all the dust. <laughs> you can become germophobic, and you shouldn't, so be careful of that. Um, but when I'm going to do my exchange, I will put out my um, sterile sponge gauze things. Um, and you always want two out because this one's going to clean your catheter before you connect and this one's going to be the one that you use to clean after and both of these packages have two in them so when you peel them open uh, I'll have one on one side and one on the other and the one on this side open this up you'll have one on each side of the package and then um, you'll you'll dress one with the alcavis you'll set your timer and then you'll scrub it for the minute of the timer. And when that's done, then you use the other one that's open, you know, the other side, and use that to dry the catheter so it's not wet because liquid attracts bacteria. So you want it real dry and then you connect to that. And then basically at the end, you're doing the same thing again. So you're opening that up, you're getting it to, uh, disinfected with this, you're flipping your timer, you're scrubbing your catheter, and when it's, um, after it's scrubbed, then you're going to uh, dry it again. And then during the drying process, I actually hold onto my catheter with, like it's still connected to the bag. And I'll show you. Here we go. So it's still connected to this. So this other part is where it's gonna be on my body. Wow, my hand looks very dry. And that's what happens because we're washing our hands all the time. So anyways, you're connected to that and then um, you're gonna dry it 
And while I'm drawing it, I will hold it in my hand and I'll actually open this at the same time. And inside here is your cap. And your cap that goes onto your catheter has to have a red ink in there and I forgot what it's called, but, um, oh, maybe it has it on here. Iodine. It has to have the iodine in there and you have to see it. I have had some caps that have shown up that didn't have iodine in it and I'm not using that because the iodine is a killer to bacterias. So you definitely want to check to make sure it's there and then in five seconds or less you're disconnecting and you're putting your cap on. It's kind of crazy and stressful in the beginning but after a while I get used to it. It's, it's no problem but you have to pay attention so you're not cross-contaminating. I also have two out because there has been, <laughs> there has been a time where I accidentally, like when I place this down ready to go, it's fallen off or the cap fell down or, you know, like there's could be so many different things. So you always want one immediately that you can open, check, put on because you can only keep the end of your um, catheter like exposed to air. You, you don't want that to happen. So <laughs> not to stress you out, but then these are also what I pull out because um, that actually pinches off the hoses there. And yeah, that's about it. Um, but yeah, like here, this card is so wonderful because it holds these and I use one of these a day. You can use one per exchange, but I don't. I just use that. You can mask. You're supposed to mask your trained mask again because I'm the only one in here. Now, if somebody was to come in here for some weird reason and watch me do an exchange, I would have the mask, you know, so you always want to be careful of germs. And I actually have trained myself to hold my breath when I connect and not connect so that I'm not like breathing heavily on the connection area because again, air carries bacteria. On the other side, I have my um, high blood pressure container that Davida gives you. Um, this is important information, just that like if something goes down, I can give this to the ambulance guy or hospital and that shows a lot of lab works and stuff. So they kind of have an idea. I have extra opany things and claspy things. Um, gosh, I need to get my nails done. <laughs> I also have a pair of little scissors in here because you got to open those up, you know, and you can, I guess you could tear them, but really what's the point? <laughs> Just use scissors, extra tape. And then back here is my box of bees. Um, sometimes I have extra out because, and this is your little trusty measury thing. So when I drain, which is um, every time, but when I drain, it's really important because remember you put in two, but you want to get in here someplace. So the most I've ever drained, I did drain 26 once or twice, but I normally range, my very last drain is usually 25 and it can range. And that range will always be because of what you're eating, what you're drinking and your activity. So there's really no way to control it, but you'll get a system going and a flow going. And if I ever get like 19, oh, I've really got to get my nails done. Uh, I'm wretched. Um, so <laughs> if I get 19, it's not the end of the world. If I get 15, something's going on. Typically, my body is probably really dehydrated. Um, it could be that there, I have a bunch of fibrin and I have to inject heparin into it. So yeah, that's not a good deal. So that, that also helps you know what the heck is going on. This is your chart that you do every day. So every day I log in the times, like let's take yesterday, drained, whoop, that was supposed to be here. <laughs> um, so at 6 a.m. I did, uh, that's what I weighed. And that has no solution in me. The next one I do will actually, I weighed it at 158.9, but I take off two pounds because I have two pounds of dextrose in me. So that's why that weight is like that. And then I'm draining and then I'm doing another time. So that's how I keep track. If my weight were to really go down, that would flag me that something's up. If it were to really go up, that would flag me that something's up. So I just try to stay in a range. 
um, and slowly, you know, stay in shape and try to lose weight and stuff. And then your um, blood pressure pulse and stuff like that. And then like yesterday, six, six and nine is when I do the um, first, the yellow bags or the yellow boxes. So I do one bag there, one bag here. And then in the afternoon, like right now, I'm going to put in a green bag, which shows it here. And I'll show this here. And that's just my system every day because I literally do hardly nothing in the morning, especially eating and drinking. And then I've had my main meal. So that's why I go up a little bit higher to pull more toxins because now I have more in my body. Um, and then here showing that that's what was drained inside of me was the 2000. And then, um, this is the results. So let me see if I can get this. Let's go to this morning. So this morning at six o'clock, I have nothing in me. So when I drain, there's going to be nothing coming out once in a while. There's one little line that comes out, but not really. That would mean that the night before I didn't do good on draining. So that's usually zero. Then my nine o'clock will be a number. And today, because I, I literally went right back to bed, I did nothing. I drank a little bit, but that was about it. I literally put in dextrose, pulled out dextrose. No, nothing. Whereas yesterday I got an extra hundred. Okay. So then at noon, I pulled out 2,300. Whereas yesterday I pulled out 22. So, you know, it fluctuates, but the fact that I got an extra 300 out today and even yesterday at 200, that's great. That means my, my dialysis is working. It's pulling out toxins. So yeah. And then now, right now at four, I have nothing in me because I drained. Um, it will be zero and then it'll be probably, who knows, here. And then my night drain should be about 24, 25. So that's how you keep track of that. Um, and then, yeah, so, you know, you just have all these reports of all the stuff you're doing. And a lot of times, like I will put down like um, workout things that I'm doing because my blood pressure might be a little bit different or off. And then that way, um, or if I don't feel good, then um, I'll write it in over here. Um, and then that way, if Beth notices that my blood pressure or my weight or something's weird or flagging her, then she'll be able to have an idea why and I don't have to remember everything. So that's pretty much it. That's my life. Um, I love this little cart. Again, it's, I think it's about 60 bucks. Thanks to mommy and dad who bought it for me. Um, another thing, oh, it's not here. Another thing you want to get though, is this thing. And I I stress this a lot because this is what you use to put your catheter in when you take a shower. Um, and that helps hold it in place so that you're not swinging around. I mean, you don't want to rip your port out trying to get your scrub on in the shower. But that, I was drying it out, I put in here too. And then I think in this one is my drain bags and my good old friend heparin lives back there for when I need it. I just inject that into my bags. And I did that video a while ago, maybe I'll do another one. Um, and that's where I inject the heparin into. When you look at your bags, you always want to make sure. Sometimes condensation happens, so don't freak out. Don't think like your bag is leaking, but always check it. Just give it like a nice little, you know, once over. You, and you can really tell. You do this six times a day, or at least I do, that you can tell immediately like, oh, something's up with my bag. <laughs> so, um, and then I always check the date, make sure that it's the, you know, it's... um not expired. And then, you know, just kind of like look it over, make sure that's right. And then one day I, I was pulling this up like this and this whole thing came off. <laughs> and so of course I don't use it. I don't put it back together. No, I toss that out and I get a new bag. And so De um, Baxter always ships out one extra box of each type in case there's anything wrong. That way you're always covered with enough um, dextrose. And then this is what I connect to. I break this flangible, which I always think is super fun because like, I don't know, to me, it's just kind of fun to do the whole process. Let's see if I can get this. Okay. So I got that up there and then I just pull this stuff apart. Ooh, sorry. I'm trying to hold you and do this. I should have used the tripod, but I did it. And then you just kind of unstick all of this 
but this part is always kind of fun. And then it's cool because you have this little clippy. And so the clippy, I will like put it like that. And then um, that way it's hanging up, it's on the floor, it's ready for connection and everything is sterile right here um, until I pull that green thing off. And then again, I only have a couple seconds to attach. So that's what I do um, four times a day. Drain bag's a little bit different. I'll show that another time. But yeah, that's my life a little bit in a nutshell. That's what I'm about to do right now. So uh, wiping it down and I use a dry paper towel to dry it, make sure everything's dry. And then I put everything on top to be able to do my exchange. So that is what an exchange looks like for the most part. <laughs> All right. Well, I will talk to you cool cats later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.